monkeys and germs for the late night boxing talks, man. Check the shit out. Yeah, so that whole little debate or argument thing that was going on on Twitter for uh, a while. Uh, I'll, I'll put it to you this way. You can't hope to reason with an unreasonable individual. The most that you can do is put that unreasonable individual on display so that other people can see just how unreasonable they are. That's the most you can do. You can't, you can't beat stupid. You know what I mean? You can only show people how stupid something is. Uh, uh, this whole uh, beef that everybody seems to have with Canelo Alvarez, it's something that happens cycl cyclically in the sport of boxing. It, it's cyclical. Uh, ever since Floyd Mayweather retired, e almost every single fighter that has occupied the number one spot, they've been subject to some undue criticism, harsh criticism, anyone from Chocolatito to Andre Ward to Terrence Crawford to Canelo Alvarez. Some people had Gennady Golovkin at number one. I never did. But ESPN and Ring Magazine, they did have him at number one for a time. I, I never did. And it's cyclical, the kind of the kind of uh, unwarranted hate that those fighters get. Like, I remember when Chocolatito was number one, a lot of people shitting on Chocolatito. They didn't know anything about him. Uh, shout out to Drew. Two lives in one day. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. We working. We cooking. I remember when Chocolatito was ranked as the number one pound for pound fighter for a time. It didn't last very long. This was right around the time that uh, Gennady Golovkin started becoming more and more popular. Um, you know, he was ranked at number one. By the time that he was ranked at number one, he was already a four division champion. But you had people who didn't know anything about him. They didn't know anything about the fighters that he fought. They didn't know he was a four division champion. They, they knew nothing about the guy. And knowing nothing about the guy, they shit it all over him. You think about Terrence Crawford when he was uh, uh, he was pound for pound number one for a while and they didn't want to give him his just due either. And it's like, well, if going undisputed is so easy to do, then why don't you see it more often? You know, what we see time and time again is that it's not easy to do. It's, it's not as easy to do as people make it out to be. Otherwise, these individuals' favorite fighters would be undisputed or unified champions. Jamal Charlo is a perfect example. He's had the opportunity to unify, but he didn't want to do it because he knows what the risks are. He'd rather save himself for Canelo Alvarez. That's what he's doing. That's what a lot of these guys are doing. And when I see the criticisms that Canelo gets in particular, having become an undisputed champion in only 11 months, already being a four-division champion, when you see the kind of criticisms they levy towards that guy and you see the kind of hate and tribalism that that evokes, they're like, yo, this is clearly about more than boxing to you motherfuckers because y'all hate that dude to the point to where you're irrational. You're either spinning the truth or stretching and bending the truth or outright lying all for hate of this individual boxer. That's when you're reminded how tribal boxing is that you know we try to keep it unbiased here we try to keep it objective i try not to play up certain angles for profit the way that some other channels do even though it's easy to me it's cheap but i try not to play up those angles but whenever i see that happen in the sport of boxing it does remind me how tribal uh, uh, uh the sport of boxing is because in truth what a lot of people dislike about canelo alvarez some, not all, not all, because it's, it's not unanimous and tr nothing really is. But what, for some people, what they don't like about Canelo Alvarez is that he doesn't represent them, to be honest. That that like what really bothers them about that guy is that he doesn't represent them. That's what I see, because a lot of it doesn't make a lot of sense. Like, OK, well, who else is a four division champion? Uh, unified, former unified champion, two time lineal and undisputed. I mean, who else? Who else is fighting world champions as often? It gets to the point to where what you're arguing goes without saying. If it were easy to take on a Dimitri Bivol, then why didn't Benavidez do it? Why didn't Charlo do it? Why didn't Andre do it? If it's easy, it would certainly be a step up from who those fighters have been fighting. We all know it. Dimitri Bivol would easily be the best name on any one of those fighters' resume. But I'll go a step further. Even the version of Sergei Kovalev that Canelo fought, 
that's still a better name than what you find on Charlo's resume. It is. That's still a better name than what you find on Betavidez's Vida's resume. Kovalev, Durrell. What, what? Kovalev, Derivienchenko. You know, it's, it, these are all common sense arguments. And I kind of wanted to encapsulate it because we get all over the place with this conversation because there's so many angles to come at, come at it from. But what I notice about it is that for some, it's not just boxing. Boxing is a sport. You know, it's, it's a sport. For some, it's not just boxing. For some, it's very visceral. It's very tribal. And it becomes that way when they see that, okay, well, the man to beat these days is this guy and you don't identify with that guy. You don't feel that guy's an ambassador for who you are and you don't like that. So you go out of your way to smear campaign that fighter, to shit on that fighter until someone you like more occupies that seat, someone you identify with, because that's what I see is going on. And to me, it's ridiculous. Like y'all motherfuckers got to stop living vicariously through athletes. Get your fucking life together. I appreciate you, Napoli. I appreciate that, bro. Because a lot of these motherfuckers, I see that there's a lot of mental health issues. Whenever I get into an exchange with one of these just weird people on Twitter or just anybody on social media, you know, I'm studying them. You know, I'm using my psychic powers. I'm learning shit about them, what their triggers are, what really gets them going. And I'm like, yo, a lot of these motherfuckers got mental problems. Like, you really don't deal in reality, do you? You honestly believe in your heart of hearts when you say what you're saying. Well, not really even say it because when they say it, they hear how stupid it sounds. So they don't often like to have these conversations in real time. What they like to do is seek refuge in print with characters on Twitter where what they're saying isn't so obviously stupid the way it is in real time when you have to show your face and look at people and talk to them and see how they react to what you're saying. It's not a coincidence that a lot of these guys, they got fucking Google stock images as their decals and, and like you got to use a Google stock image to talk boxing. What are you hiding? You know? But, but yeah, I mean, it becomes, it becomes very toxic and very tribal. And I, the reason that you might see me get caught up in it is because they come to me with that shit. That dude that was here earlier, he came to me for a debate. He's the one that proposed that, oh, we go live and discuss it. I'm like, cool, I'm an adult. We ain't got to hoop and holler and do all this crazy shit. We ain't got to do that to talk boxing. That's not normal anyway. That's online behavior. The shit motherfuckers do online ain't the shit they do in real life. All that hooping and hollering over a fighter that don't know who the fuck you are, that's not normal, bro. That's a sign that mentally something is not, something's not clicking, right? But yeah, you know, it, it becomes very toxic. Yo, if you want to join um, um, new, um, um, Malachi, you welcome to join, bro. That's what I see. You know what I mean? And, and for example, I'm going to give you an example. When I had Crawford as the number one pound for pound fighter, I used to get a lot of Golovkin fans that didn't like that. And I would make the case that Crawford's three division champion, two time lineal, two time ring magazine, undisputed, took four belts from four champions. I would make the case to these guys, and then, you know, they'll get mad that Golovkin's resume don't stack up like that. That no, Golovkin's not a three division champion. He's not a two time lineal. He's, he's not none of that. Not a two time lineal. The only version of the Ring Magazine belt he ever held was, was, it was given to him. You know, he didn't win it, it was given to him. And he was elevated the WBA champion. He didn't win it from a guy. He was given the WBC title because Canelo wouldn't fight him. Canelo was postponing. You know, the only champion that he won a belt from was David Lemieux. And when I would say that, when I would say that, motherfuckers wouldn't like that. They don't want me to say that. But that was the truth that, well, you want to know why I, I rank Crawford above this fighter, I'm going to give you the A, B, C, D, E, F, G of the shit. And after I do that, if you still mad, I don't know what to tell you because I just broke it down for you. Now, I gave it to you as reasonably as I could. And I noticed that periodically as the number one pound for pound fighter in the sport changes, that maintains. And it's just a question of 
who's hating on that fighter. Before, you had guys hating on Crawford when he occupied that spot. Before that, you had guys hating on Chocolatito for a little while when he occupied that spot. So now that Canelo occupies that spot, you got guys saying shit that don't make sense about him. Hey, OJ, what's up, Jim? I was goody so well. Listen, Jay, uh, it was good. I sent a super, uh, a super chat, but it, they didn't let it go through uh, the YouTube, so shout out to them for that. I mentioned in it, you just had a nap. I finished work, I came home to nice food, bust some nuts, and I'm chilling on the sofa. Mrs. is sleeping. We're talking boxing. We're not emotional like these lot. We enjoy the fight. I'm a, I'm a, I want to talk to Malika about this. Malika, I know that you're doing like a, a, a presentation of sorts on some yes, of the sir. things that go on in the YTBC. Just talk to everybody about that a little bit and what that's all about. Can you hear me, um, Jules? Hear you good. Okay, yeah. Um, um, for those who don't know, I, ha I do have a, a background in marketing, right? I've studied... Like I spent thousands of dollars on this stuff, Jules, from Sam Ovens to Russell Brunson, Billy Jean, some of the best copywriters went to copywriting school. What I started doing when I started my channel 14 months ago, I started studying. I didn't start out studying, but I started seeing a trend. I had an issue. Um, I had an issue with it. one of these gangsters on the line. Um, I'm not going to mention his name. He got a YouTube channel. In Memphis, <laughs> do some research. I do some I research. Who, I even going to say nothing. Go ahead, go ahead. I do some research, and I saw the video of you and him. I'm like, oh, okay. It's just how you know he flipped on you and this and that, and you just the, the way you broke it down from the double standards and the hypocrisy. And wait a minute, this guy's doing A, B, C, and D. So I start. I said, you know what, man? Let me study these fans, and. What I realize is exactly what you what you said. It's very tribal. And I said, you know what, man? Let me go a little deeper. I noticed I noticed every time I made a video about Canelo, for some reason, his name is a trigger word. That mm -hmm. name triggers <laughs> certain people. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then yep. it makes triggered. sense. And then Wilder was another trigger word. Wilder was the first one. Yes. Mm, Tyson yep. Fury is a trigger word, but not to the degree of Canelo and Wilder. Um, Crawford is and Errol Spence. Crawford is kind of like a trigger word because now a lot of people don't like him. That look like me, of course. They don't like him. Um, Errol Spence was a trigger word. Tank Davis was a trigger word. Well, the Chico is kind of a, a trigger yeah, word. Yeah, Loma Chico. Well, yeah, let him finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. No, but Tyson Fury was another trigger. And I say, damn. So I had to do some more research. I realized, Jules, there was a, like a civil war that was going on way back with Canelo, not way back with uh, Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao. Yes. That's yep. where it started from. And I Now, I want to add this. I want to add this. Nobody say nothing. Uh, uh, Long time ago, I moved out of New York, right? So life slows down when you move out to the country. You know, I'm, I'm in the house more. I'm watching sports more, watching boxing more than I used to watch because I was always a boxing fan. But as I got older, I'm raising my kids. I'm home in the house more. You know what I mean? I'm at home more. So I'm watching it. I start going to Facebook boxing groups. Mm -hmm. and, and the way mm -hmm. boxing is in this digital environment is not the way that it is in the real world. In the real world, yeah, my man's in them was some of them was Pacquiao fan. And I told them, I got the folk, I got the post from P Facebook where I said, yo, Floyd gonna play with him. I could post that shit later on. And me and my yeah. man used to go back and forth about the shit, but it was never hostile. It's like, like bro, it's a sport. You know what I mean? It's like it's, it's a sport. You know, like yeah, when yeah, the yeah. Yankees, like when the Yankees play the Mets. In a, in a, in a, in, you know, I forgot what the, the Subway series or whatever. The Subway series, yep. Yeah, when the Yankees, it's just, you know, you a Mets fan and the Mets ain't shit. And, and we just go and talk <laughs> shit. But it's <laughs> not, it's, yeah, it's, it's no more. Whereas online is fucking. You a Yankees fun. fan, bro? Come on, man. It's emotional for them. It's emotional. Yeah. That's where it is. So, so, Jules, what I realized was, I said, okay, my, you know, I'm a black American. My mother's from the Dominican Republic. Uh, black woman, dark skin. 
Um, mm. And I say, I'm getting attacked by blacks who look like me. They say I'm a coon, Uncle Tom sellout. The white Tyson Fury fans, not all of them, but the ones who hate me because I criticize Tyson Fury, they say I'm racist towards white people. The <laughs> Kiyoki no Lopez fan base, when I, you know, was joking, messing with T. Diddy and all of that stuff there, they came at me and said I was racist towards Hispanics. Some of the Canelo fan base came at me because they said that I wasn't uh, uh, defending Canelo the way other, you know, other certain other channels defend him. Mm-hmm. I didn't really get any heat from the, the you know, Asian fan base with Manny Pacquiao. I kind of mm-hmm. did a little bit when he lost to Ugas. They came at me a little bit, but not much. But the ones who I got death threats from on a consistent basis was the Wilder followers. Yeah, it was something Jeez. about ooh, ooh, them. Ooh, emotional motherfuckers, those people, it was bro. Something about them. Oh. Th- the, the Canelo fans too now. It's not just Wilder, but it was something. And and, and I'm Tia Fimo and Tyson Fury fans. I'm gonna get on them. But it was something about the Wilder that was, you know. And I said, you know what? By me being in the conscious community before, I said these guys come from that same community. Mm-hmm. You in New York, Jules, so you know the Hebrews, Hebrew oh, Israelite community, the hotels, the hotels, the hotels. Nation hotels. of Islam. I'm- I, I'm I, in New I York, say, too, oh, so this, I, this, I know those dudes, man. This is the same. Because I used to debate those. I, I was one of them dumb dudes I was debating all the time, you know, talking about <laughs> Egypt and the pyramids. Mm-hmm. But see, let me let me let me say this about them cats, right? See, this has yeah. always been my thing because my wife's cousin, he liked yeah. that, right? And a couple of my mans and them back home, they was like that. And see, this was yeah. always my stance, right? You looking back when you need to look forward because the mm. shit that's here is the shit that's here. You worrying mm. about, bro, I'm going to keep it real with you. I don't give a fuck who built the pyramids. Yeah, mm. yeah I mean, like, I don't, hold on, I'm not, hold on, hold on. Not done. I don't give a fuck who built them shit. Is that going to put more pork skins in my pantry? No. <laughs> no. Not, brother, brother, you got to stay away from the swine, my brother. Not nah, Julius. <laughs> Julius. Okay. See, that's the problem, my no, see, exactly to my point man, where I said in the you, beginning. The man don't brainwash you, my brother. It's Listen, now, you know. <laughs> I I dealt and, and, and I would have con- I would have long conversations with my man's and I'm, it's like one of my he was real like real big on and I'm like, yo, why are you worrying about that when what's going on to like like I already know where, like, it would go, what the talking, oh, well, you can't go forward if you, yes, the fuck you can, bro. Yes, yeah, you yeah. can. There's, there's, yeah. a old, there's an old quote that always stuck with me that he who lives in the past lives with regret. He it's who regret. lives in the future lives with worry. But mm-hmm. he who lives in the present, you cool in. Julius, I'll yeah. give you a, a better metaphor for that. If you're driving your car, say your life is your car. If you always look in the rear view mirror, bro, you're going to fucking crash your head. Hey. Yo, that's so much better, B. Hey, you're gonna hey, crash hey, your head. But this is the thing, though. To answer your question, to sum- summarize it, I'm, I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I've been studying these guys for like twelve months now. Mm-hmm. What I realize in this boxing is these guys don't care nothing about boxing. They're not fans of the sport of boxing. These guys have deep psychological issues that's way bigger Thank than Canelo, you, coach. Thank Deontay you. Wilder, Tyson yep. Fury. Nope. Anthony Joshua, um, Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford. This is some stuff that these guys have been going through. And mm-hmm. the internet and, and, and the boxing community is the way that they um, express themselves or project onto you their mm-hmm. own insecurities, failures in life, uh, and whatever the case may be. I say, oh, yeah. this, this is not just hey. boxing. This is something Coach. else. Can I just add to your yeah. point? Like I was okay, saying yeah. in the beginning, Jules, like I said in the beginning, Ju- Julius just had a nap. I came home, I finished from work. I came home. I had some warm food, bust some nuts. Now I'm chilling on the sofa talking about boxing. That's it's just like an entertainment. That's here, the way just, we take it. Just like how so what? Like, yo, when I get off of here, right, after I finish this coffee, do this live, I'm going to go in that room and I'm going to grab my wife's ass and watch Law and Order. <laughs> 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 Dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> as you should, I mean, I mean, I was, isn't that what any as you should, 
Seriously. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so so when I seen the cat, the cat that I had on here earlier, right? I didn't have like I already know because I done been through this on the Facebook group. See, most people don't know this channel is old, but I wasn't always uploading videos to it. I used to do mm. it sparsely, like maybe once a week or or two videos a week, and I was more like periodic, like it was once a week. I remember those times. Yeah, those like you, you yeah. can see the gaps. You can see the gaps that I wasn't even uploading content like that. But I'm really into editing, and I'm really into storytelling. So I just used it as a vehicle for that because I'm I always been into that, just in general. So I used it as a vehicle for that. But I was really into the groups, and I noticed in the groups, and a part of what made me leave the groups or stop fucking with them is yo, the people in these groups is toxic as shit. It was yep. this dude called Blue Something. Blue Something. It was a cat based out of the Bronx, former boxer. Old cat, like 40-something, 50-something. And he would be in them groups. And he, he was one of them toxic-type cats. Long story short, this dude ended up in the news for stabbing a chick that laughed at him in real life. I seen the paper. I'm like, hmm. what? I'm you fucking my On God, dude stabbed the chick on the train for laughing at him. That shit is cringe, bro. Now, let <laughs> me say, every time I used to see that dude get into it and he would do like a live and I just look in his eyes and shit like that while he talking, because I know how to recognize. I'm like, yo, something is missing, man. Like, you too mm. mad about this shit. Like, mm. I used to I used to talk shit about Lara, right? I used to talk shit about Lara just to fuck with people, like, just to... Just because I know motherfuckers going to come at me. And I just did that shit long enough and long enough and long. Yo, motherfuckers was really super duper. I'm like, yo, how could you be this mad over this, B? That yo, Blair I remember, I, I, I rem yeah, I remember the Renekton boxing life. thing. Yeah, I they remember that. No Hold on. Sure. Chris, go Chris and then Sawo. Yeah, I remember that group, bro. That's the first time I, I remember seeing you, bro. You you smoking the best sticks and talking boxing, bro. And everybody, <laughs> like I remember, like Carlos. I remember there, there was good people in that group. It I was. still go to that group. I still go to that group periodically because I haven't been on Facebook like that, you know, in ages. Like I just stopped going on it. Like, but like I remember those groups used to get heated. Like, yo, you have to block people off the group. Like yeah. at that point in time, yeah. it was like twenty. But it was dope because it was low key like, gambling. It was low key gambling. Like we had a rule: I right, if you make a bet within this group, you gotta have a witness. If you don't honor the bet, we kick you the fuck out the group. And motherfuckers would have a cash app. It was like it was yeah, fake bro. entertainment, yo, Jules. entertainment, a hobby. Just the way yeah. I was saying. Look, yesterday, I'm I'm just going to tell you, yesterday, uh, people think I have nothing better to do with my life. But yesterday, I went Birmingham. I did some shit. I was on live. And then I came back to London. Then I went to Milton Keynes this morning, came, opened back to my shop, opened work, finished my work. And I'm here I'm doing my thing. I see boxing as a hobby. It's not my whole fucking life. Yeah. Really? Like, but, mm -hmm. but Sawab, look, you know, let me, let me say this to Sawab. A lot of the dudes that, you know, Malachi has been examining, these people at one point in time use boxing as escape to uh, escape the traumas in the childhood uh, uh, mess ups in their lives. So yeah. once that didn't so once that didn't work out for them, you know they still they're still attached to the sport. So mm -hmm. like a lot of a lot of the good good memories they have is from that sport. So with that being said, when when this sport is a release for them because they don't have anything else. At all, and it's I'm sad. Say this now. I'm gonna say this. This is why, and I've talked about this. I think we talked about this, Malachi. Uh, profiteering of race politics on yeah. YouTube. When yeah. you use things that touch close to home, like remember when Wilder, you know, to this day, and all of that. Mm -hmm. See, you touching on a real issue. The issue is real, but what you're using it for is not real. But because the issue is real, it strikes a chord with people. And right. they, they get in their feelings and they get emotional. They start feeling like they being attacked when really this person talking about boxing and this person is in a whole nother place with the shit. And that's yeah. because of like, like cats like Aki TV. Like, yo, yeah. dog, it's Al Sharpton's on YouTube, B. Believe it's, it. It's it doesn't Sharpton. happen with, yeah, bro, it doesn't happen with any about. other... Go on, it time. doesn't happen. It doesn't happen mm -hmm. with with any other sports. Like we, I got friends who we talk, we chat about. I think uh, football. We talk about cricket. Cricket is a little bit big here, especially with me as I'm 
I mean, the World Cup is coming soon. We're talking about that. We have a debate. Oh, this place, this, this place, that. We're not emotionally in, into it. We live our life. We just, it's, a, yeah, like, it's an entertainment. Before this I pass it back to Malachi, life. before I pass it back to Malachi, what I'm going to say is um, when I was on my MLB shit, or from, I'm going to say from 9 4 to, to, to 01, when I was on my MLB shit, I ain't had to go through that shit. When I was on my NFL shit, when the Giants beat the Patriots two times. I ain't had to go through that shit when Aaron Rodgers had that amazing season. When I was like, I was really on my NFL shit. I had to good go shit, through that. Though. It was good times, bro. It was good it was times. Good times. Be like, he's a bad motherfucker that year. But what I'm saying is, all throughout that, I was always a boxing fan. But it wasn't until I ventured into the digital world of boxing fans that I started seeing like, yo, it's mad toxic. Like, the fuck mm. wrong? Fuck wrong with a lot of these cats. And, and I see that, like, yo, now a lot of mentally just fucked up people gravitate towards the internet, man. Go ahead, Malachi. No, no, you're right about that. So what I noticed was, I said, how am I able to piss off four different races of people online? All of them are saying the same shit. The blacks, um, like myself, are saying I'm a cool Uncle Tom selling out for the white man in Hispanic. The Hispanics are saying that I'm racist against Hispanics. The Asians are saying you don't like Manny Pacquiao, you're racist like the rest of the other, the other the black guys. Mm-hmm. The White Fury fans are saying you're racist towards whites. And I'm like, okay, damn, so blacks mad at me, the whites mad at me, the Asians and the Hispanics. What the fuck? I'm like, you Cap- I- Malachi, you a Capricorn, B. That's the life, B. They was yeah. mad at Jesus. What it, might, it, might as well, it might as well be transparent. <laughs> Listen, you know what I'm I did, and then I get threatened when I see you. I'm gonna do this. Um, when I so now I just I said, you know what? Let me smoke. So I smoke weed before the show because I already know it's coming. I said, gonna be two joints. I know it's yep. coming. I know mm-hmm. they're gonna. You know, I I can't make anybody happy. So I'm like, fuck it. Right. Well, over you know, another man, they are threatening it. someone. Listen, I get it of all people because I was in that for 25 years. So I know about Neely Fuller. I have uh, I have his books. Dr. Francis Crest Wellseen, Dr. Ben, Dr. Um, Mal- Malachi York, the New Wapians, the Hebrew. I know about all that shit. Mm. I did all of it. So I get it. But I say these dudes in the Boston community, regardless of w- what race they are with, th- what I notice about the Boston community, th- everyone is obsessed with race. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. an obsession. Yep. And it's a tool that politicians use in order to keep us divided as well, especially every election cycle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I tell yep. people, when th- these people, when you have the kind of money that they have, whether they're black, <clears throat> white, LeBron, whatever, they don't view the world the way me and you view the world. I've the, been saying that. What they see is green. Yeah. I've been saying you know, that. that at that mm-hmm. level, at that level, when you when you talking about that level, they don't see people, bro. They see numbers. That's what they they see numbers. But what I, what this is the sad part, right? This is the sad part, and this is something I realized when I got older that that shit not never going that shit not never gonna go away. All you could do is go. All you could do as an individual is be an example of your own beliefs, whatever they are. That's all you yeah. could, you keep like yeah, all that. Yeah. Stuff, all that hell of what that shit ain't because motherfuckers don't want it to go away, man. Some no. motherfuckers getting money off that shit, so they really don't want it to go away. That's the way Julius, it is. Julius, like I say this. I say this to my uh, my friends and people around me. And uh, you have to be around like-minded people. You can't save the world. The world's not meant to be saved at all. Be around mm-hmm. like-minded people and yep. trim the fat. So if people want to be, you know, weird... Lead them to their own devices. And I, I say this. You know how Cameron told a uh, dude in the movie, niggas get shot every day? This is why I say niggas be sitting every day, B. They do, though. Like, I tell look, look, mm. look, 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 I've, been, I've been with my, I've been with my wife off and on, oh, millennia, off and on. You know, you know, when you, any long-standing relationship, breakups, makeups, all that cool shit. And I used mm-hmm. to tell her, man, I don't like people. See, now that she, now that we both get older, she coming around to my mentality that I'm like, yeah. nah, I don't like people. The less people I deal with, the less complicated my life is. I got maybe seven good friends that I consider not. We ain't acquaintances, we friends, friends. And anybody yeah. else, we just an acquaintance. Be like, if 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 somebody tell me, hey man, pop his ass five thousand. 
I might have to consider that shit. No, I'm just playing. I wouldn't do that. But you hey, know Julius, what I mean? Hey, Julius, yeah. there's a saying Yo, that sums it up perfectly, man. Check this out. It, it goes like this. Oftentimes, I find many people are in their own little worlds, and I always find that I'm better off if I just leave them there. Yeah. Ain't it the truth, though? Ain't it the truth? Yep. Like, 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 yep. Yep. You, could, you could try to be cool and and, 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 you know, and all that shit, but I'm like, look, man, shit's a lot less complicated when I focus on what I want and what I want to do. It's a lot right? less complicated. Hey. Mm-hmm. Hey, oh, Julius, That's I got what something to say. To do. Yeah. yeah. Hey, yep. now, Jules. You know, you're right about that. When I started, I was very ignorant. Didn't know. I got into an issue <laughs> online <laughs> on Shad <laughs> Shuttle. And I got out of character that one time. And then I thought about it. I'm like, man, what the what the F are you doing, bro? Like, this dude, is, I started <laughs> laughing at the dude when I realized, oh, this is some studio gangster type stuff. This is, <laughs> this is some yeah. NWA yeah. Ice Cube, straight A student. Never been to jail, but when I heard Gangsta Gangsta, I thought he was the hardest mofo ever. Yo, mm. bro, that first verse <laughs> of Gangsta Gangsta, nigga. I swear to you, that's like that's this one of the greatest CB4. verses ever, bro. Listen, listen, listen. 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 Hey, it's, it's a cat on here. It's a cat on here. He sound like Chief. He looked like Chief Wiggum too on some real shit. He look like he look and sound like Chief Wiggin. If if he ain't the most gangsta delicious motherfucker on the whole, like he is gangsta delicious. He got bodies. He moving bricks. He did a couple of bins. He been all, all type of fly ass shit. And I'm like yo. And one time, like you Malachi, well more than once, I, I got out of character because I'm just like, look, I'm old. I'm used to having a nice day. I'm not used to hearing nobody cursing. Fuck you. I'm not used to that. So when I yeah, hear that. Ready. It's a trigger, like, yo, why are you talking to me? You know, I'm in get out of character. I'm and I was embarrassed after that, like, yo, why am I why I'm spitting into the screen? I looked at the screen of the, uh, of the laptop, it spit all on that shit for me. <laughs> I was like, nah, see, I got the chill, like, I'm bugging out, and that's when I did. because you gotta remember this, Julius. You come from a certain place where niggas say, yo, nah, fuck but you, it ain't uh, even because uh, I, yeah, nah, I, ain't, I ain't Rambo. I'm just saying that, look, I'm used to having a fantastic fucking day. I'm not used to hearing nobody calling me no name or nothing like So when I hear that, I'm like, yo, what the, f- you know what I mean? Like, I'm not used to that no more. Like, I'm just, I'm not used to that. Hey, so hey like, dudes, dudes. I don't mean to break it up, but I got to. The, the incident was ace money. You a bitch. You a bitch. Come to Memphis. Come to yo, Memphis. I got, I got shooters. So- I got shooters, <laughs> homie. I got shooters. <laughs> Yeah, I got yo. Know, I got something to say, man. I got something life to say. Life is it's too like, short, man. Life is too short. That's life it. is life is yeah, too get short. Go ahead, not bully. Yeah, I, yo. Back in the days, man. Like in my younger days, I used to be quick tempered, like hot headed. Nowadays, it's like as you get older, you're just like, yeah, whatever, man. It's like it's a, it'll take a lot for me to like really get pissed. You know what you I'm saying? What? You there some people would say energy. like. So some people was like, for example, if somebody would call me a pussy, I'd be like, "Well, I am what I eat." <laughs> you know what I'm <laughs> no, I just, I appreciate like, like, like the dude, the dude that was on here, right? The dude earlier, like he was fucking fear. Like you can hear. Just I invite any of you to bro, go back and watch bro, that line. He was emotional. I just saw the beginning. Up, just, off top, like he started talking fast, and I could hear the modulations in his voice and how much spit he. So I could hear, it like, yo, you mad? How you that mad? Cause Canelo, though, cause Canelo. Over hey, next man, bro. Over next man, cucks. Like, yo, 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 as you know, I usually stream off the fights, so I'm proud to do it. You know, it's, it's just my de- I, my civic duty as an American to stream the PBC fights. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, so, so so anyway, I mean, so I, I was on, I was on, like, they, they got Discord servers on, like, one of the streams I was using. Mm-hmm. Man, if y'all saw some of the shit that these people was writing, I mean, like, it, I mean, it, it, racial yeah. slurs, insults, I mean, it, it was like, oh, my God. It's like, these are awful people. I mean, like, yeah. with, with, it, I, I'm like, I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. It's like, and it makes sense because, like, well, they, they, I mean, like, like, I mean, because, like, how Coach Malachi, how Coach was saying, like, you know, how, like, he's insulted by, like, every race just for giving his honest opinion and, you know, sincere and constructive criticism. 
Yeah. It's like they, these these people in these like Discord servers. It's like, oh yeah, these are probably some of the people who are clapping back at him and who don't stream and who don't pay for these pay per views and who are just fan fanboys of these fighters. I'm gonna say this. Look, it was a dude when Kobe. I'm, I'm gonna say it. When Kobe mm-hmm. and that little girl died, I felt that shit. I, that's not. I felt that shit. Like I felt that shit because I, I, I got. Dude, that was bro. a shock. Man. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. So not long after that, you know, I'm on the internet again, and I seen something, something, something exposed. One of these YouTube content creators. Bang! I watched the shit. The dude said Kobe. GG died with Kobe Dick in her mind. I'm like, yo, and it's a grown wow. ass man. What? A, yo, on, on fuck God. Fuck on man. God. That's, that's I'm swear to, I swear, yo, I you swear to God. My nigga. I swear to God, nigga God that's that. what the dude said, fam. I on that's God. I'm like, yo, man, that dude not serious, B. And I'm like, wow, like, yo, it's some just real, real mental. That, that, that's like, so satanic, oh, man. That's it's, satanic. That's the modern. That's what that is. <laughs> Yeah, oh, that, 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 man, listen, that, you know what that shit is? That's a schizophrenic motherfucker that want to get shot. That's what I think it is. If you want me to <laughs> put, my, put my label <laughs> on it, like, you know, I know what you are, bro. You you didn't take the pills. And if they let you <laughs> run around, if they let you run around, you going to end up in a dumps. Like, how right? Because I, not that I'm going to do it. Eh? I ain't saying that. I'm just saying I have seen that storyline play out where you have a volatile individual that has mental health issues and he's allowed to run yeah you you just what you want is for somebody to you know, like carve you up and it, you one day you gonna get it so just mm-hmm. you know, it's coming so sometimes you need a thorazine shower you know sometimes so it's some motherfucking syracuil because it's some sick ass yeah, baby out here b yeah. well, karma, karma is undefeated <laughs> Well, let me Karma. read the super chat. Let me read the super chat. That guy has something personal. It, well, I, I think really what he got is something with himself. Like you can't be that mad at me, bro. I don't fucking know who you are. Jules, 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 I figured it out. I figured it out. Jules, you inspire that. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Jules, you know what his problem is? You know what his problem is? He really likes you, bro. Nah, don't even don't even start that shit. Don't even start that. I'm not. I'm. A, I'm. A, I'm. A, I'm. A, I'm, a, I'm a complete country. Look, 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 look. Being, being honest. Being honest. Yes, it is me. I am aggravating you. You giving me all your triggers while I'm while you getting emotional and shit. I'm reading your mind like, ah, oh, this would be funny if I do this. This you winning, Jules. You winning. You winning. <laughs> You win. Hey, 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 this is the internet. It's entertainment. Like what you really go? You really think somebody gonna jump in a car and drive to your city? Of course. <laughs> over, over some, some shit. Really? Like I'm gonna burn all that. Get go through all them gas and toes. All them gas and toes. Or you gonna find a plane? Go there and fight Canelo. Hey, Julius, remember somebody asked you to come to Manchester. You want that IQ? Remember somebody asked you to come to Manchester. Word. You remember that so wild to do? Yo, yeah, go go Danny Ranger. The, the funny thing is, yeah, I remember that. Let me go. The funny thing was, the funny thing was, he wouldn't click the link to talk to you, but he no, would want yeah. you to come he to would. fucking Manchester. But I gotta go to Manchester. I gotta go to Manchester. You can't, re- you can't click my link, shit. but I gotta go to Manchester. He, come on, he kept Pete. coming back and wouldn't click the link. That made no sense. He would keep commenting. It wouldn't click the link to save his mama's life. I was like, oh, my God. Click the link already. Go, go, Danny Ranger. Hey, hey. <laughs> go, go, Danny, go, go, Danny, 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 still be leaving me these motherfucking, your Danny, Uga size paragraphs. Look for him in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> he be here. He, he leave came me. back after that, Jules. He even He's came still, back after bro, that. He probably watching this live country right now. <laughs> Just not going to say nothing. Cause he don't go go Danny. He, re- he don't want me to do that. He don't want motherfuckers laughing at him. But um um um, hey, how many of those is? How many of those is crazy to me that they want to hate on Canelo's run to undisputed? But those fighters would be the best. Yeah, like it's a lot of this is common sense arguments, and that's why it's noticeable now how toxic the shit is. That at the end of the day, look, Canelo the man right now, right? Mm-hmm, In the yeah. next five years. In the next five years, or maybe less than that, because he might retire at the two. It's gonna be another man, man up there. It might be Crawford, might be Boots. Who fucking knows, right? 
But that's just that's just boxing as a whole. That it's always been that way. In the last five years, it has been about three to four number one guys. ESPN wanted it to be Golovkin, but it was never Golovkin to me. It was Chocolate Tito, Andre Ward for a little while before he retired. Mm -hmm. Um motherfucking Crawford. I had many up. I ain't gonna lie, I had many up there because his fucking resume is his resume. After the Thurman fight, I'm like, bro, who has a resume like this man? And he's and he just won a belt. I gotta put him up there. That's the rules. Then at the Yo, end, Julius. Go ahead. Yo, you gotta remember Manny Pacquiao was sent to Satan for a little bit after Marquez Four. And for him to be Bradley and all them other dudes after that, man, that's impressive, bro. Because your bro, bro, I ain't gonna hold you. Since the you Mayweather died. fight, <laughs> since the Mayweather fight, yeah, he lost to Floyd. Won a WBO from Jesse Vargas, the WBA from Keith Thurman. Still was yep. one of those. Still was one of those. So it was like, yo, I gotta acknowledge, like, I know that I would pick Crawford to beat him. I would, but that's a fantasy. That's not reality. Reality is. This motherfucker's resume is the best in the business right now. Only motherfucker with a, with a decent resume, not even close to Manny's, but, you know, there it was on, on the list at that time. And it didn't last long because, you know, Manny was inactive. But it was Manny and Canelo for a little while. Like, yeah, Manny's number one and Canelo's number two. Or Crawford is number two. Because who got a resume like Manny, though? Who? From Barrera Nobody. all the way down. Nobody, Barrera man. all the yeah. way down to... From Barrera all the way down to Thurman. That's crazy, bro. And I had yeah, to but like let's, you, I mean, honestly, guys, you could argue that Pacquiao was already like a legend by the time he fought De La Hoya due to what he did. Yeah, yeah. Because if you think about and I invite anybody to do it, look at every fight that he had before the De La Hoya fight and realize Keith Thurman resume not never gonna look like that. Never. No, never. Not nope. never. 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 Not before, no. definitely not now, not after. No. Hey guys, what the way he's fighting, Jules. He's hard to Well, most hey guys, most hard people. Hard most people were asked whose career would they rather have, Floyd's or Manny's, and most said Manny's. No, nah, I'm gonna be real with you. If I had, to, if it's the career that I'm gonna have, right, that I'm gonna have, I'd have, have Floyd's. Floyd. I'd have Floyd's. I don't know. He an asshole. That's all well and good, but on some I mean, boxing I'm not shit, down Floyd, dude. I'm not. No, no, not even you. But it, not even you. I remember that. I remember there was a survey, and I remember Ryan said. I would have preferred, and and I that's Ryan said that shit. I'm like, bro, you 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 couldn't, you don't have the shit to have Manny's resume, bro. Nope. Like, nope, no, like, like <laughs> bro, you had a Mariah Carey moment because of the Fortuna fight, bro. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. 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 When you were saying, yeah, yeah. when you would, yeah, yeah. If Ryan had actually fought Manny, if Ryan had actually fought Manny, Manny would have whooped his ass. Yo, oh, Manny yeah. would have probably killed him, bro. Yeah, Manny would have. It was it was like the old state property movie when they yeah, had him they the corner hitting him, and Ryan would have been hitting the high notes. <laughs> it was like the old state property movie when they had DJ Clue, and he said this line, man. Everybody in the theater just started laughing because it was like some real cringe worthy. Like you know, I fuck shit up, like. <laughs> Go shut the fuck, the fuck up, <laughs> bro, like, pro Yo, 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 yo! Everybody, time out. You saw state property in the theaters, yuck! You I a mean, real hood nigga. You no, because it was nigga. no way. It was nothing, bro. It was. I remember. No, was it state P? Yeah, I think it was because it was mad people there. I remember that. That the was in the theater, and he said that shit, and everybody was just like, "Fuck out of here, be like." You got your mouth Yo. open slap boxing with beans. Fuck out of here, B. Don't but bite beans me. has hands, though. Let's not even play that. But like, still, be, for your mouth to be beans, leaking like though. that, bro, his whole it's, mouth was leaking, it's B. It's like, bro. You know what Sieg is still, about, bro. Still, what a thug about. Come on. Anyway, point, point, point is, right, What I, the point I'm making is, um, you know, Mayweather – uh, great career, but more importantly, the career that I would rather have, though, all jokes aside, is his. It's just that he did not handle the people the right way. If he would have been different with people and different about the way he, you know, the character that he portrayed, he wouldn't be hated for what he did. Because for what it's worth, take away all the bullshit, man. Don't tell me his resume not better than Spence. Yes, it is. It's better than everybody resume is right now. Like, no. I don't. I don't make it. Hey, hold, hey, hold on, hold on. I'm not a hold on. I'm not a Canelo hater, right? I'm not a Canelo hater, but 
truth be told, no, I don't make excuses for Canelo losing to him. He was a fucking champion. He had 42 fights. The fuck I look like making excuses for him? The victory counts. Was he then the fighter that he is now? Of course not. That was fucking damn near 10 years ago. But the victory is dope. They're like, yo, dog, you beat the dude that ended up being the dude in the next era. Let's look at it this way, yeah? When Klitschko lost his first fight, he got beaten. He was undefeated for 10 years. A decade undefeated. Look at Canelo. I think he's going to reach a decade soon. Bro, like, like, it, look, I want Canelo to get out. Being real with you, I, I like I, I I feel want, you. because he because he's taking on a lot of tough fights, man. Recently. It ain't even like, that. It's because that his is. presence is 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 his presence is affecting the sport too much. These guys don't want to fight. You got people making excuses every day. Motherfuckers wake up, log into Twitter to explain. Why Charlo ain't got to fight Benavidez? Literally every morning, <laughs> it's a motherfucker that wake up, log in. But Canelo Twitter. has to. But Canelo this has why to. they don't have to fight. This is yeah. like, bro, I every mean, day I mean, you be bad. Yeah, be Juice. Can I have something like on what you was talking about, Floyd? Like, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I think the way he's moving his fighters, the way he does, I think his ego is like so massive that like he's afraid that. He doesn't want anybody he manages or like any fighter he signs to become bigger than he is. That's why he won't let Tank out of the cage. I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a straight talk to shit, right? Floyd, underneath it all, he knows. Underneath it all, he knows that these guys is not built like me. To yeah. do the stuff that I did to get the De La Hoya fight, he not dumb, B. He knows like your tank, he not that kind of fighter that he could force for the trees. So, uh, yeah, like he yeah, yeah. he know like he not dumb. B, you you think he, he look at look Tank is twenty seven, bro. About yeah. to be twenty eight. By the time by the time Canelo was twenty seven, he fought Golovkin. Yeah, yeah, like three. Did he have like two uh, two titles by that time in two different weight classes? Bro, <laughs> I mean, by the time he was thirty, Canelo has he he had a Hall of Fame career. By the time he was like in his that's late, what I mean, years. like like mm-hmm. by the time. By the time Canelo was 27 years old, he already fought Lara, Angulo, Mayweather, Trout, motherfucking Cotto, motherfucking Golovkin, and Chavez. Bro, like, and, and, and Leonard's still pump fake. Yeah, he is star. Bro, I don't see it, bro. And he he coming up on 30, all right? Okay, why, 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 we release, why, why don't we all release his pay-per-view numbers then if he's such a star? Right. <laughs> like, <I> mean- <laughs> Julius, like I was going to say this with, uh, with Floyd. In terms of Floyd in his career and how he handled people, you got to remember, when he was humble, no one cared. When he became the villain, it is what it is. That's mm-hmm. why he made so much money. You always <clears> say there's no yeah. such thing as a free lunch. And at the end of the day, you have That's to also true. look at it like this. You have to also look at it like this. Hold Not on. he's fan. Hold on. Because Roy talked shit, but people loved him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Roy I was talk, <laughs> Roy talked. Roy talked. Mad shit ain't got knocked out. It but was as people, shit. as he, people, he, he, as people by Roy though, they still get hype when he was when Tarver was at the shit and he was talking to Jim Lampley and he was hype. He threw the towel on the floor. He's like, Whoa! <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> but you got yeah, but like, yo, yo, Jim, yeah. like, 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 my, 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 my rebuttal, my rebuttal to that is this, Jules. Roy was playful. He was he he was amicable to the people. Floyd, when he talked shit, he looked at people like, "Yo, I'm better than you," and I really feel like I'm better than you. And that's why people don't like Floyd because Floyd looks down on people. Roy never looked down on people at all. Roy may talk shit about in boxing, but like Floyd, Floyd's whole demeanor is like, "I really look, I'm I'm better than you." So at the that's end of the day, got him his money, and but now he's not getting the idolation that he wants on the back of it. So that is what it is. And let's talk about Andre Ward giving Josh Taylor three of the first four rounds against Jack Adderall. Let's well, go ahead. I'm going to pass it to Malachi. Oh, you me? Oh, go ahead, Malachi. Hey, I just want to let you know I got to get rid of the bounce, man. The kid's going to be in, so I just salute to everybody on the panel, man. Right, um, I don't Have know a good night, who. brother. Hey, Coach, cool, Malachi. Man. Take care, man. Hey, thing, man. Hey, <laughs> hey, Jules. Hold on, I want, I want, I want to tell you guys something before I go. This, you see, you see, you see, Cookie. Oh, <laughs> anybody oh, want to smoke? Oh, anybody want to smoke? This is what I got for all my internet gangsters. 
It's all good, man. I got it. I got my cat right next to me, so it's all good, bro. <laughs> right, right, right. Let me let me read these super chats. They piling up. Malachi, always welcome. Uh, yes, sir. All right, so I read that one. Let me read this one. Uh, Jaime Nieto says Malachi had a dude calling his show yesterday. That was one of these dudes y'all talking about. Dude got mad in motion. Yeah, yo, like it gets yeah. crazy on the internet, man. It get crazy. Trip, too weird. crazy. Too crazy. I was there, man. I was, like, shout out to Punch Drip Boxing. Hold on. Punch, I'm, I'm going to pass it to you, JB. And let me read this and I'm pa- then I'm going to pass it to you. J- uh, Punch says, this weirdest boxing community, this weirdest community known to mankind. I got more death threats than Trump and get hated and backstabbed by those I supported and helped build. YTBC is Bellevue Hospital. Keep cooking back. Yo, yo, ya tu sabes, man. Esta gente está mm-hmm. loca. Go ahead, JBN. Ah, oh, no, nah, man. Yo no más quería decir, bro, que, like, si escuché that one guy that ya we're talking about on um, Coach Malachi's panel, and, man, I just cannot believe how somebody can hate somebody so much that you don't even know, like, you don't even know this guy in person. This guy doesn't even know he exists. And mm-hmm. you truly hate this guy like if he took your girl. Real shit. And you, you, know, like you, you know you wouldn't you wouldn't step up to do it at all because you would get beaten into a coma. Niggas is pussy. You know, nah, damn man. pussy. It's a sad Hell, statement of people's mother. lives, man. It tells you that people out there ain't got no life, man. Bro, like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even like. That. I don't even. I don't like to entertain it on any level. To where, to where, to where? Like one thing I really don't like as a Capricorn is I don't actually like to get. I don't like to let it upset me. So I troll and have fun with this shit. Because the last thing I want to do is is actually argue. Like I want to argue and actually be mad. So I'm a troll. It's meaningless. Yeah, because I'm like, bro, real shit. You talking wild shit. And when I be outside in the real world, all that shit that you I don't get none of that shit, bro. All that shit you saying is digital. That shit is Mr. Smith, B. You Mr. Smith. All that, <laughs> all that shit. You Mr. Smith, B. You not, you not real, B. Like, you know what I mean? Built, like, because these niggas not built like that because you yeah, like, end up stopping one of them dudes up, bro. Like, hey, not even, like no, but not even for, the, not even for the, the dry threats. It's just like just being real. Forget all of that. I don't got to be Rambo for you to not to be that. I don't mm-hmm. gotta be. I don't gotta be John Rambo for you to be what you really are, acting the way you. Are. You know what I mean? Like I don't fuck all that. I'm Mr. Rogers out here, B. Fuck all yeah. that. No, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. All right. Mr. Rogers had bodies in the basement, bro. Anyone tell <laughs> that? JBN, can I say something? Can I say something? JBN, yeah, you're yeah. wrong about that, yeah. About uh, him taking this girl. They want. They want their girls to be taken. They want to sit in the cupboard and with their willies in their hand. So they cu- <laughs> <laughs> they cu- <laughs> If they can't satisfy their woman, they need another man to satisfy them for it. Yo, Hell eso yeah. lo que es, yeah, man. La gente, mira, algo está pasando en el mundo. Que la gente, people are going crazy, bro. And I see it like that, that they're starting to gravitate. They gravitate towards uh, online world because it's an escape from the reality. And I often, if, if I think about things in real time and in real time, <clears throat> let me describe this. You have people that get up every morning, spend hours on end, online, explaining why Charlo should not fight Andre. They've been doing this for weeks, for months. They <clears throat> mad. Every day, get up, they mad. Canelo still ain't fighting. They still mad. Scratches on the wall. I'm like, bro, you don't see that sick? I mean, I mean, let's, let's just say, let's just say, I mean, they spend hours on end doing this stuff, right? But let's just say, like, you know, their 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 wishes come true. They finally get the fight, and Charlo gets his absolute fucking ass whooped. Then, what, what are they gonna do after that? Yo, sit around and sit around and commit suicide. Sit around, I mean, sit That's around why and they like, were saying that Charlo was. I might be able to sit around after that. That's why they were saying Charlo was a cherry pig. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, they, yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, I mean who, who's the guy uh, with, with Wizard Art Man? I mean, I'm not going to, I mean, like, I'm not going to be able to guess Was he one of the main ones saying, like, oh, yeah, Canelo's, the, but then once he's, he's about, he, he's potentially going to fight him, he starts saying, like, oh, yeah, yeah, it, the win won't mean anything anyway. It's not going to be. Well, I mean, now, it, now, let me shout out Tony Boswell. Shout yeah, out to Art Tony. Man, like, hold on, hold on. Let me shout out Tony Boswell. Shout out Tony Boswell. Appreciate the cash app, bro. You didn't have to do that, but I appreciate that you did. Thank you very much. Go ahead. No, no, I mean, but yeah, but I was saying, but I mean, so like, what, uh, if Charlo gets his ass whooped, right? What are they going to do after that? I mean, and, and with Art Man, like, I'm saying, with an Art Man, like one of the ones who was saying, like, you know, he, he, he tra- like, yeah, it's, it's, it's nah, it's crazy, look, look, it's, it's, I got screenshots of a dude, not even, not even Art Fart, Art, Art Vark, right? Not even him. <laughs> <laughs> Art Vark look like an Art Vark. This is some other motherfucker. He looked like an Art Vark. Like the motherfucker looked like the Art Vark. I don't need shit. It's another motherfucker before the plant fight. I got the screenshots and I've been meaning to use them. I, I got them on reserve so I could use them for an episode of the relay. Bang. The motherfucker ahead of the plant fight, he said plant is going to dog walk Canelo. Fast forward after the fight, all he's wow. going to fight is these bums. Like, <laughs> same dude, B. It's the same Bugs. dude. See? See, I mean, see, see, like, see, shout out to Lady Chance. See, like, I said this on, I said this on Lady Chance live yesterday. You know what's gonna happen after the White Fury? Uh, if, if if White happens to beat Fury, he pulls off the upset. Fury fans are gonna do one of three things: they're gonna make one, either they're gonna make excuses, uh, they're gonna, um, they're, they're gonna act like they never, uh, they're gonna do a one eighty and act like they never picked, um, you know, uh, uh, White nah, like, like picked nah. Fury to begin with. It's different. With, <laughs> it's different with Fury, Jay. I guarantee you that. That's one of them losses, like when Wilder lost, like motherfuckers don't feel it yet, but I, I, I see it in the metrics. Wilder, mm-hmm. like like Malachi said, like Coach said, Wilder used to be a trigger. You do a Wilder video, your numbers spike. I know that because yeah. I see the metrics on the videos. Like you could do a Wilder video, that motherfucker might hit 13,000 in, mm-hmm. in two days. That's mm-hmm. where it was at. Now, now that he got the shit beat out of him two times, you do a Wilder video, Motherfuckers like, bro. I I I I think I think that's true because when you did one wilder video on the um shout out to you on that, that was a great vid. Uh the the one that after like the needed aftermath after the um after yeah. he lost that got like forty thousand views. Bro, that's bro, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Now you do you do a wilder video now? Nah. So nah. this is what I see. Wilder has Fury has the same kind of fans that Wilder has has, which means if he lose, motherfuckers will dead ass stop watching boxing. That's one. Some of them going to stop watching boxing. Mm-hmm. Or they going to stop using the internet. They going to stop being... Some of them get... Because the passion is not going to be... Fury got them out of bed in the morning. Talking about like Tyson Fury. No man born of his titties is sucking Tyson Fury. That's they, that was <laughs> their purpose in the morning. That was, that was one reason as why I was going to say like either they're going to disappear. You sure they're, they're not going to kill themselves? You know? <laughs> They're not going to off themselves, please. Hopefully, like hey, some of these no, niggas. No. I'm, I'm telling hey, you, I'm, I'm, I, I don't, I don't wish death on people. Of but some of these and, go. Talking of Tyson Fury and White, it has apparently sold out. Yep. No, but but so why? Hold on, so why? I didn't Nobody expect that. Nothing. What have I been saying on this little channel for months and months? The only other fight bigger than White versus Fury in the UK. Is Joshua versus Fury. White yeah, versus likewise. Fury likewise. is the biggest fight. That's the biggest fight you could do in the UK right now. Ain't I been saying that? You have, Jay. Mm-hmm. You've been for a while. But, Jules, yeah. there's, there's another I've been thing. I've thinking I the same was, thing. If we check StubHub right now, there's a thing about 30,000 tickets on sale. Probably, I think, something like that. Because, I mean, what they're saying is that basically a good portion of those tickets were bought by the resellers. They're all the same. That's still based on projections. They're going to make money. They're obviously going to flip the tickets. That's the business. I don't know. I don't know what the scalping laws are in the United Kingdom. I don't even know if it, it is. I don't know. It's legal. Yeah, it's legal. In certain states here, it's legal. Certain states, you need a license. The scalping laws is like... It, it ain't about nothing. You know what I mean? Let me read the super chat. Half of these dudes need to be interviewed by the YouTube channel Soft White Underbelly. Bro, Yo, look, that man. channel is wild, man. Have you ever seen it? Wild, they wild really got some really off-the-wall interviews, like inbred people, hook girls, yeah, really? this, that, you it's name scary. it. They got all kinds of Yo, crazy bro, stuff. I might have to watch that shit. Over there. Yeah, it, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, I might have to watch that shit when I get off. Like, you know what I Yo, usually Julius. watch? 
Yo, hold on. You uh, you know what I usually watch? Not even boxing shit. Not even highlights. I watch restoration videos because I'm old. Like that shit is mad dope to me. If you could take an old ass kitchen knife and fix that shit and make it look new, I be seeing the dudes that disassemble the Glocks and they disassemble all the different the the the, the, the firearms and all. Yo, I watch that shit. I go right to sleep. B, that shit they is the best. Old ass nigga. Hey, Jules, you know what you need to watch. They, they you need interviewed to watch an property inbred under the hammer. family, Jules. The whole family was inbred. Yeah, the whole family. What no. did they look yo, like? Though? They looked pretty messed up, dude. I mean, yo, I gotta bro, watch this that's shit. normal with the gypsies, bro. No joke, yo, man. That, that channel shit. is yo, wild. Yo, man, yo, hey, yo, 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 hey, yo, that reminds me of a, yo, that reminds me of a fucked up joke. Y'all want to hear it? Um, okay, so this uh, Hill Billy was fucking his sister, right? Then uh, the sister goes, Oh, you fuck just like that. And the dude goes, Oh, yeah, no, mom told me. Let me check y'all. Don't act. I'm, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. Don't act when y'all take a trip to Pornhub. Y'all don't click that. Fuck my stepsister POV videos and shit, B. <laughs> You be watching it, Jules. <laughs> I ain't no shame in my game, B, because hey, I know y'all hey. watch that shit. Hey, hey let, me say this. let me say this. Doja so if we got to die, we're going to die. Cat, if Doja Cat was my it. stepsister, y'all really think I wouldn't? Yo, yo it's all type of shit like that. Like, yo, who's yo. seen... Look, who seen the Mia Khalifa shit? The shit got a storyline, right? Yeah. Mia Khalifa come through. <laughs> she got her boyfriend right away. She introduced she introduced the boyfriend to the mom. Why the mom start sucking his dick on the dick? When me and get mad. Yo, me and get mad. Yo, yeah. before, bro. Yo, yo watch that before, shit. Bro. That shit is crazy, that's people. But that why that the mom start making out with Mia? The shit don't make no sense, B. <laughs> It don't make no sense. <laughs> Was she wearing a hijab or something oh. like that? Yeah, yo, she got yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The mom, the mom, oh. the mom was like, the mom was like, the mom was like, you don't know how to treat a man. I'm gonna show you. And she went crazy on the motherfucker. <laughs> then her and and me and they was basically going at it like like and, and making it. The shit was wild, B. The shit was wild. <laughs> Yeah, says we wildin', man. <laughs> uh, uh, let me read the super chat. Century Gothic says Bex Boxing YouTube channel. Appreciate that, bro. All the way from Chicago. I see you. Yeah, you know I mean, it's it's wild, but um, yeah, man, like it's toxic shit, man. Like I, when I be on Twitter and I just yo, I just try to stay. I try. I can't help it. Sometimes I get pulled into the shit. But I try to stay up because I'm like, yo, I don't want to argue with nobody, B. I don't care. It's like they just hit that nerve. Bro, they hit that nerve where you just got to respond. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yo, Julius, so that's, that's why I, like, I be, be seeing you on Twitter. You're really just tactfully eating these dudes' food up. So every time I see you on Twitter, I try to make a laugh, a jokey joke, because I know I know you be going through it on Twitter all the time, bro. I see it, it's me and AJ trying to make you laugh because, yo, bro, them dudes yeah. on Twitter are weird. Listen, yeah, listen, yeah. listen, listen, listen. The other yeah, day, right? Peep this shit. Shout out to um, I ain't even gonna say who told me. No matter of fact, I can say it. I don't give a fuck. Isan told me that motherfuckers was mad that I I type talk T A W K. <laughs> I ain't playing with y'all, bro. I'm not playing with y'all. Motherfucker, wow. motherfucker showed me, listen, motherfucker showed me a whole conversation of motherfuckers that was mad because I type it T-A-W-K. And what they was trying to say was I stole that from them. And then he showed me more pictures. Oh, my God. Oh, like, listen, let me finish. The fucking, there was a whole argument. I didn't, I was not privy to none of this because these is people that I block. Like, I only, I, ain't, I couldn't see none of that. So, bang, they showed me how, like, yo, they was pulling up videos I did, like, seven, eight years ago on Facebook where I was typing it T-W-A-K. I'm like, you telling me that motherfuckers got time to be mad over how I spell words? Wow. This shit That's is yo, bro, bro, what if you were just looking for an excuse bro? to hate. What, <laughs> yep. yo, what if you were a nah, bro? Trying, yo, niggas gonna help you. Niggas nah, they was, nah, they was, what they was trying to say was, 
what they was trying to say was that I stole some shit from them, not realizing, Brody, I've been typing that shit like that since a lot of motherfuckers, since before a lot of motherfuckers was born, no cap. Like, regular, like, like I, that's not some shit that you think about. Like, yo, you sitting there thinking about how I type the word talk? You thinking <laughs> about that? I yo, bro, dude. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm, at, I'm, I have no words. Literally. Yo, I'm not lying, Jay. I see the I, whole conversation. Ask Eson. Ask Eson. Yeah, he's, hey, he's, uh, he's in the chat. chat. He's in the chat. People ain't that stupid, bro. Oh, man. Don't make me leave this planet, bro. Don't make me leave this planet. <laughs> I'm dead. He showed me. I'm leave this planet right now, man. Bro, he showed me a whole. It was mother and motherfuckers was mad. Like that motherfucker always stealing shit. I'm like, how am I always stealing shit? I don't even be seeing you, motherfuckers. Like, huh? I blocked you, Probably, nigga. I mean, like, like, get like, away from me, y'all. Because like, my my job is really annoying. It just it just it's like you really get a detail if you got the job I got of how stupid people are. Because like one call I get right. Okay, so like um, I say my greeting like you know thanks for calling the hospital yada yada. Uh, they, 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 then the guy goes, oh, how are you doing today? I'm like, oh, I'm fine, sir. How are you doing? Oh, well, obviously not fine. Why did I'm calling the hospital for? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, oh, okay, bro. Like, I'm, I'm thinking like, okay, dude, what do you want? Are you serious? Like, <laughs> wow. Wow. I, I got a long list of them. That's just, that's just an appetizer. Yo, bro. But shit I heard. People are <laughs> out there, man. Look, look, look. One dude said, like, like I could just run down the, um, <clears throat> itemized list of things that I've seen said on Twitter, and I'm like, I don't understand this. If I blocked a lot of you motherfuckers, right, because we don't want to cross, like, I don't want your toxicity around me. I don't make no bones about that. I don't want to be arguing with motherfuckers. I don't care what you think about boxing in any way. I don't care what you think about anything. I don't even care what you think about me. That's why you black, right? So if I done blocked a lot of you motherfuckers, why do I keep getting screenshots of people complaining? He blocked motherfuckers. He hating. How am, how am I hating? <laughs> am I hating? Like, <laughs> what you want me to unblock you? I thought you was about to say they was about to make the fault accounts and follow you. They're your number one fan, bro. That's what's going on. They're your number yo, one fan. Mother- yo, yo, yo. Uh, motherfuckers they love the ring IQ. They love the ring yo, IQ. You gotta yo, be... Mo- Motherfuckers get aneurysms over the stupidest shit. It's unbelievable, man. <laughs> and let them get it. And let them get it because these motherfuckers are fuck ups, bro. Listen, exactly. bro, I'm telling y'all, go all go to Eson and had Eson show you the whole. It was a whole conversation. That motherfucker be stealing shit. He stay stealing shit. Fucking random. <laughs> some random old white joint came in. She said, "Yeah, he stay stealing shit, yo." I'm like. What is this? A cartoon? I'll be. What? <laughs> Esau said it was after Tim Bradley. Yeah, it was. A, yeah, it was after Tim had came on. It, I went on Twitter after that, and he showed me like, "Yo, these motherfuckers is mad at." I'm like, "What the fuck? They mad at?" Like they, they said, "You stole." Yes. I'm like, "Stole talk? Fuck? Huh?" Oh my god! Julius, they what? mad that you styling on them. They mad that you styling on them. You are. Matter of fact, I got Yo, a question. Yo, you remember when they stuff do that? Yeah, they just be me. These motherfuckers want to be me. Bars. Oh, I got bars. Chill. I'm going to come out with a mixtape. Matter of fact, I, I want to ask you nah, a question. I'm not I'm not I, 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 I get a chance boss, to ask them right Matt hoodie with the beanie. Motherfuckers on Twitter want to be me. That shit, round. It go perfect. Be it's just perfect. It's a perfect <laughs> ball. Can I have some of your publishing, though? Can I have some of your publishing? I didn't get a chance to ask Tim uh, Tim Bradley a question about Andre Ward, unfortunately. But uh, I guess, hey, Tim, um, if, in case you're watching, um, does Andre smoke his weed before the fight? Oh, uh, come on now. Don't do it. Come on now. Come on now. Y'all keep it classy, B. We're classy out here. Let's no, go. but let, let's talk about Andre Ward giving Josh Taylor three of the first four rounds, bro. Oh, like, we really bro. need Julius, to talk about that. Julius, that's, you can't be classy with an unclassy person. Simple as. I can't be classy with a hater. No, nah, I'm, 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 I keep it classy, you know, why? As long as you keep your cool. Everything is slow motion when you keep your cool. Like shit could be blowing up, shit could be happening when you keep your cool. Everything is slow motion. Just keep. That's it. Really? That's why they put the hands on you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can't, yeah, I mean, shit. That's how to make it. I'm, y'all remember Rocky Three talking about like, just be cool, be cool. I'll turn your back on me, so hey, that was cool. That was cool. <laughs> that was cool. Well, cool. Shout out to cool, my yeah. man Jose de lo mio, que lo que, who you got? Uga suspense, and will you buy it? I've made up my mind. Uh, uh, Jose, yo lo voy a comprar. Uh, 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 
if I see K. Ismael Salas is training Ugas, bro, I'm gonna have to make a critical decision because Ismael Salas is good for the upsets, bro. He is. Kazuto Yoka, mm -hmm. Kazuto Yoka upset Kosei Tanaka. Fucking effortlessly oh, too. Shit, he was in the yeah. for that. that that's yeah. who trained yeah. him, Jay. Joe Joyce. No, no. Yeah, Joe Joyce and Daniel Dubois. Mm -hmm. That was the upset. The bookies had Dubois as the favorite. More recently, the motherfucker that beat Chris Colbert. That's one of Ismail Salas' boys, bro. Oh my oh bro. He bro. good for the upset, bro. Oh, wow. He good for oh, he was he just wasn't he wasn't at the fight. But that's yeah. who that's who Hector Garcia trained with. He trained with Salas. Was he, Yo, was he, Sal at, the press was he at the press conference with Ugas? No, nah, no, nah, he was he on oh, oh you talking about Salas? Oh yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Was he there? Today, I didn't or? see. I gotta watch yeah, but, yeah, I gotta but, watch it too. Yeah, yeah. But yo, if look, if if Salas is training him, be motherfuckers gotta yo, you might have to consider that shit. Be that okay, I, I see Salas in his car. I'm putting money on Ugas. <laughs> you being, being real, like yo, he good for the upset. Like he he the upset master. Um, on WMMA say ring styling with Joe Goose and rules with the denim. Hey, I'm trying to get like Joe Goose and be. I even going front. Yeah, get the patent level. Yo, right I'll be. I'll yo, be bro, real with when you. When you were like... talking about you know Ryan Garcia, hey Ryan, you want to hit the pads, Ryan? You want to hit the double leg bag, yo, bro? That had to be <laughs> You want to hit the pads, Ryan? Uh -huh. You want me to rub your legs, Ryan? You want me to rub your ankles, Ryan? Y'all remember when Prince You remember when Prince Nassim danced to Miller Black? Oh, damn, where you go there? Y'all remember that? When Prince Nassim danced to Miller Black? You didn't hear nothing. Chill. Listen, listen, this the shit. This the shit, right? And I, Because I don't want to be abusive, right? But I do feel that Ryan was too high maintenance for somebody yeah. like Eddie. It's just, yeah. it's, it's just, yeah. it's not going to work. Like, bro, the, 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 the way you are, that shit is, it's, may, you know, maybe you really got problems. I ain't even going to say he don't got problems, but it's just that motherfuckers, everybody not going to interpret them problems the same way. Like, 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 yeah, bro, Eddie you hang around like the Paul brothers and shit, bro. Like, my nigga, like, yeah, you going to, yeah, like, what you think? Like, like, if you come in and, like, Remember the story I told y'all that I read it there? Like, yo, Ryan said he walked into the, the, to the, the Reynoso gym and he just started crying. Bro, if I was Eddie, I'd have been laughing my fucking ass <laughs> off. I'd have stopped everything <laughs> and followed him outside to laugh at him. Like, I would, like, if he ran outside, I'm going to follow him outside and point. I would have stopped sparring. I would have told, I, I, I told everybody, make a circle around Ryan Garcia and laugh at him and, and laugh. walk him out that gym. I said, like, yo, Ryan, saying? don't ever come back here, pussy. Ryan would have got in his car and I'd have jumped in my car and pulled up to the <laughs> 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 Yo, what's up, boy? I knew you was eating. He was like, ah! He would have hated me, bro. Y'all like, know what the problem like, was, though? I mean, y'all want to know what the problem was. I think that, like, Eddie got tired of uh, Ryan putting on makeup in between sparring rounds. So that's like, he, got tired of, he got tired of them Snapchat filters. Like, you want to use my Snapchat filter, Eddie? <laughs> Julius, yeah. not Eddie, Daddy. Call him Daddy, Daddy. Yo, real shit. Like, like, Daddy. And, 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 and I don't want to be, I don't want to be fucked up because I know that uh, uh, the walks of life is different. Like Eddie is a street. Like I mean, I ain't gonna say a killer, but Eddie come from the ghetto uh, south of the border. That's where him and Canelo come from. The ghetto south of the border. Believe you me, no joke, it's, a, it's worse. It's worse. It's worse than anything you gonna find up here this way, man. It is. Yeah, believe there's it. no it room, is. no room for crybabies. Especially if you <laughs> How you go Get How it. you go, Eddie and Chapo and Canelo and, and 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 look, motherfucking Frankie Sanchez is from Cuba, bro. He don't got time to be watching Ryan cry. His hairline receding. He don't have time <laughs> for that cry, shit. Crying Garcia, <laughs> crying Garcia. That's what we should call him. Like I'm like, who would, like, so, this, so, like, 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 I'm just picturing that. Like, ain't no way you walked in there and and burst out crying, and and motherfuckers didn't laugh. <laughs> ain't no way, B. Motherfuckers had to laugh, like bro, like I, I like nah, B. Like you were. Yeah, yeah, man, 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 we can't talk about him like that, my yo. nigga. We would have laughed at him, like we would have cut him. Julius, this, this, this is, this is. These are the future champions. These are our future champions, bro. No, no, our future champions. No, 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 no
Keyshawn Davis, yep. Shakur Stevens, Jerry yep. Anderson, yep. right? Tristan Kalkaroof, you know what I'm saying? Future champions. Ryan is a good fighter, man. Nah, he a good fighter. He just got hurt in the last fight. That's all it was. But he a good fighter. Like he he better than a lot of cruiserweights keeping it real. What I'm gonna say is, look, I hope for the best for that kid, Ryan, right? Because he a kid, and if he really got problems, it ain't about like being fucked up. It's more like your shit is so awkward that yo, I can't help but laugh, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you all right, all right, I'm, gonna take, all right, all right, I'm gonna take my last mm -hmm. shot. Like, if I have Ryan's phone number. I call him and be like, ring, ring, Ryan answers, hello. <laughs> Real shit, yo, I call him. I call him. Yo, I would call Ryan. Oh, is that Ryan, just Ryan to pick up the phone. Yeah, hello, this is Ryan Garcia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hello, this is Ryan Garcia. With whom am I speaking? <laughs> You're talking to Chris. You're so insensitive. I have depression. You're so hello, insensitive hello. towards hey, Jules, me. Jules. I'm depressed. Hey, Jules, Real I got, a, I got a, a, a prospect fight for you. I want to know your opinion on uh, Mahmoudah versus Jared Anderson. Oh, Ooh. We, we don't know, bro. I, I'm going to be real that with you. That would be a slugfest. Listen, country, I I'll say that, I man. don't know the answer, but to that question, but I should like to find out. Yeah, I was. Mm. I was. Hey, Jesus, I don't know hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. country, he can't fight. Makhmudov is Russian. That's right. Damn. Oh snap! That sucks. Well, he's still yeah, very man. green anyway. But man, that dude is big, and he can hit. I seen some. I seen the fight of his. A couple of them was like going, damn. Unrival, Arsh Unrival calls him the unrapable one. He can't be raped. That's what he called him. I'm <laughs> making that shit up. That's what he called. I didn't make that shit. He said that shit. <laughs> that dude is the unrapable. He can't, it won't happen. Put him in any prison in America. It won't happen. That's what he said. Yeah, oh, bro. Hey, bro big everyone dude, on the big panel, dude's give me a second. Did you guys uh, did you guys see on the undercard of Akoli uh this brother uh three uh three Gil got DDT and he got back up and he knocked him out? Oh yeah. Well, that's yeah, that's yeah. Like that, bro. Yeah. Oh, uh, Jordan, uh, Jordan, uh, Jordan uh oh, did you see that Jordan, Jake yeah. the Snake? Did you see that Jake the Snake um um talk to Jordan Gill? He was like, Yo, if I'd have DDT'd you, you wouldn't have got up. I seen that shit this morning. <laughs> the real oh, Jake the oh, oh, Snake. He really that's, said I mean, that, that's, bro? That's, that's 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 he saw Twitter. He saw Twitter. He said it out of DDT because that's his move. That was his yeah, move. Yeah, man. Jake, 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 go man. Go you can throw that mm -hmm. like he was a master of yeah, DDT. Yeah, somebody Yo, Jules. That was his signature move. Yeah, Jules. You're not going to be a candidate. Yeah, Jules, I got a question. All right. Galalia fight, obviously, he just had his pro debut. Impressive, impressive victory or whatever. Yeah. They're talking, supposedly they're going to try to go the Vasil Lomachenko route and possibly get a title shot in like the next, what, three fights? What do you mm -hmm. think of that? I think that they I don't, don't need to do it. I don't, I, look, 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 this is the thing, right? Uh, uh, technically, that didn't work for Vasil Lomachenko, so they shouldn't do that. Technically, yeah. remember, he lost his second pro fight. He lost it. But Good only man. by split decision, and hear me out. Let me give you my rebuttal to that. Not everyone has the minerals in, like, Vasily Lomachenko at all. And you're right. At the end of the day, it did not work out. But the next fight after that, he did win. So what that ain't being that, said. No, no, it ain't that. It ain't that. Look, look, the average guy that they rush, right, they tried to rush Murata in the end um, fight. I was like, why the fuck they put him? And he, to me, he won the fight. But look, that was his first L. Why are you rushing him? They tried to rush Mikhail Aloyan in the Zolani Tete fight. He fucking lost that fight. The World right? Boxing Super Series, yeah. The World yeah. Boxing Super. He fucking lost that fight. I'm saying because Galal is young, and you don't, you don't. If he young, yo, bring him along slow. You got plenty of time. Be he'll beat the shit out of motherfuckers. Some let him beat the shit out of some. Dude, but, but that's the, but that's the thing. That's the thing. Yeah. That's the thing in the lighter weights, like flyweight or whatever, you get fast tracked towards a title shot. 
you do, um, you do, but if you try yeah. to build him into like a cash cow, right? Are you really going to put him in sink or swim situations right out the Olympics when you don't have to? Right. Yeah. That's a fun. Just guys, I don't know if you guys noticed. I don't know if you guys noticed. I would like to give my take. Go ahead, Swab. Go ahead, Swab. I saw, I saw that fight. I paid attention to it. He's good, but he's rushing into his punches. He's not, you know what I mean? He's not taking his time. He's just rushing in there. His guard is not always up. So I don't think he's ready to be a world champion yet. I mean, you need to give him some time, man. Give him like 10 fights and take it slow. Yeah. 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 Look, 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 look. Say, say like this. Say you do like this, right? Because he's young. Your fight is young. See, yeah. with a guy like Connor, Connor Ben, that he don't have a deep amateur uh, background, right? You want mm -hmm. him to get in maybe 20 to 25 fights before he challenges for a world title. Now, you fight a little different, a little sooner. Give him 10 to 15. Instead of, you know, instead of 20 to 25, give him 10 to 15 because he'll be ready by 10 to 15. He might be ready by 10, but give him that time because he's young. You have time. Now, he's he, busy. Down. Get him out there. But get don't just, oh, yeah, we're going to do the Lomachenko shit. Why? So he can lose a second pro fight like Vasil Lomachenko? Or worse, mm. get knocked out. But, you know, he's turning 30 this year. I don't know if you uh, – is, is that yeah. – All right. 30 this year, right? Do it yeah. like this. Do it like this. If he 30 – Two years, ten fights. What's the problem? Okay. Two well, years, ten remember, fights. Antonio Tarver started his uh, his professional career at twenty eight, and I think he got his first title shot against like Montel Griffin, like like when he was like thirty five or something like that. So yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yep. I just I just don't think it's a, like that Vasil Lomachenko route. That's a that's a that's a dangerous route. That's what I'm saying. That's I mean, that, 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 fight, that fight was for like some kind of intercontinental belt, wasn't it? Yeah. No, the first, yeah. Listen, WBC. listen, look what happened to Josh Kelly, bro. Perfect example. Yeah. Perfect example. Yeah. He didn't know need, it to be seen. He didn't need to be in that Avenesian fight at all. Like, nah, he didn't. He never needed that fight, bro. He should have been fighting more Vinovskis and build himself up to 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 a mean machine. Not like nah, you got this kid fighting. In this for what, bro? To fight who? Who was he gonna fight anyway? He's at welterweight. Why are you rushing him? Who is who is he gonna fight? Spence, Crawford. Yeah. Who's he gonna fight? Yeah. Personally, I, personally, I felt Josh Kelly was overhyped. Personally, I felt Josh Kelly was uh, was overhyped. You know how many how many videos I have seen of Josh Kelly on YouTube? The slickest and moving around and dancing around and shuffling and you know being an idiot. And people saying, whoa, he's a boxer, next generation, this, this. Man, cut that <laughs> shit down, man. Yo, he's, dog, he, he, yo, peep the shit. Has he fought since the Avanesian fight? No, he hasn't. No. 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 Has he, right? Yeah. No. Yo, how long ago was that, yo? That was almost a year ago. That was last April. Damn. Oh, damn. Yeah. I mean, see, see, question for the panel right quick. Like, Josh Kelly, he was doing that dumb shimmy shake shit in the corner. Mm -hmm. where he, where he, like, like he, he was trying to, and he, he ended up getting dropped, and he's getting up, and he's still shaking. Well, like, like what Bruh, he, was, he was doing some shimmy <laughs> shit. Like, what was that? Like, 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 he had 80s dance curves. I remember when Chris Eubank did that against Nick Blackwell and started really fucking him up. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, can I say something? I'm going to say something. Okay. And it's controversial. <laughs> Chris Eubank was a better fighter before he got with Roy. That's a fact. I agree. I agree. That's a fact. I, I absolutely I agree. Go, I ain't gonna lie to you. I kind of wanted you big to come back and really hurt me. Yo, the you bank that fought Yildirim. The you bank that fought Yildirim. Oh yeah. Would've, he would have. He would have finished that. Liam Williams, Liam Williams yeah, fight, bro. Yeah. He would have finished that fight, bro. Yeah, Believe bro. I ain't gonna hold you. Like I, I watched it. I watched the Blackwell fight, bro. Like I ain't gonna hold you. This is how I know I'm fucked up because people diagnosed me as fucked up. It is what it is. Yo, bro, I really got excited when that dude had, had him tracked through the corner. You remember when he with that uppercut right hand combination and you just flurried on the hooks? I was like, yeah, that's how you're supposed to do it, bro. That's how you're supposed to do it. Then I realized that I almost got beaten to death. I said, shit, this is bad. <laughs> nah, look, Chris, look, Chris, Chris, like at middleweight, let's say, at middleweight, because I don't think his power carries really that. I, I don't really think it carries that much to super, not that much anyway. Um, but um, at 160, yo, he could punch, man. And 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 that Eubank, that Fort Yildrum, 
that for Abraham. Yo, that Eubank, he would have finished Liam Williams, bro. Yeah, he would have. He wouldn't have been doing all that bullshit playing. Like, he played around for like four or five rounds, B. He did. Fuck he did. you I mean, doing? He, he, I mean, it was funny. Like what, what sticks out to me about the Ildrin fight is like after he knocked him out, he just stay, standing in the corner posing. Yeah, he was like that, like 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 Daredevil or some shit. Like it was like a superhero moment <laughs> where he, so he knocked he's... out Yildirim. Cause that's real shit, right? Like you got to do all that. For, you doing that because you knocked out Yildirim, bro? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, yeah. yeah. Yildirim, you got to do all that. You got exactly knocked down right. by George Grove by a jab, and George Grove hit you with a jab to your face, and you dead at the no, all of shake. Yo, George outclassed him, B. Oh, that oh. was a listen. You, listen, you been fought sloppy. That was me, sloppy. Like you was all. Can I place. say? That that was one of my favorite UK fights because I'm like, yo, he is really disassembling Eubank. Unbelievable. Eubank has no jab. He trying to throw lead hooks like Roy. He was trying for the lead hooks. He wasn't even setting up a punch or nothing. He just trying for and missing by a mile. I'm like, yo, B, this dude sucks. B. He was winning wild like, punches. He doesn't even have good defense like that, growth. So for him to make you miss is crazy. Yo, you nah, remember nah, Bros? Yeah, I, you remember, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. I ain't ah, yeah, I do. You remember? You remember Frotch Bros? One though, my God, he was talking so greasy, bro. And we he dropped him that first round. Wow, shit! He, you know, he to get knocked out first, though. Bro, but... To get yeah, knocked out punk. though. Nah, let, nah, let me nah read that's not that. knocked out. He got parked. Bro, he got slept. Oh, let me read the super chat. What age do you consider boxer old? It depends on the weight division, and it depends. Yes. It depends on the weight division for me. Like, for example, 35 at heavyweight is not old. But yeah. 35, at the what the lower you go, sometimes you could consider that. Or, like, if we talk about, like, a 35-year-old super flyweight that has one fight. Yeah, you old, bro. Like, the fuck yeah. you been doing? When did You're you considered ancient. <laughs> yeah, like, the fuck? Uh, M.A. Bustamante says, these kids today, De La Hoya was walking red carpets in a pit. <clears throat> That's true. Then going into wars, that's true. They all want to walk the red carpets. My, that's true. That yep. and, and we, yeah, we bring it up all the time here. That look, yeah, Oscar was this and Oscar's that, and he wear panties and and tampons. Well, work <laughs> in, man. But, yo, that motherfucker was with the shit. He I mean, was but I, no, he, but he, he was, was with he was, the shit. He was. He was. He, I, I saw. I saw legendary nights of Bob Barron was saying like, oh yeah, we go to airports and like you know, his, female beast. fans were throwing like bras and panties at him. Yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. Something that Oscar was some... saying. Something, something that Oscar was saying was that you know, and he 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 feels like he's beating a dead horse, but he keeps telling all these boxers today to fight every each other, and nobody yeah. will. And Oscar was they, about that back because, in the day. bro, you know, because you know they fought each. Look, Oscar's contemporaries, Fernando Vargas, Felix Trinidad. He fucking fought them, bro. Yep. He fucking he, fought he, them. He, Bro, I don't think he beat Pernell Whitaker, but bro, officially on his record, he fought him. Yep. Bro, yep. man, it's like people don't realize that, bro. Like, yo, he fought Pernell Whitaker and Floyd Mayweather, bro. Like, Listen, we yo, live people in, we live in, this We're this living way. in an era where Tevin Farmer was too risky for Javante Davis. So when mm -hmm. I look back, the world we live in, dude. That's uh, that's a they, 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 motherfuckers yeah. can say what they want. They didn't let him take the fight, right? They didn't take the money. They didn't take the fight. So it is what it is, right? Hey, yo, Ju yo Ju Julius, I got to ask you a question. How you uh, uh, when Pernell Whitaker was alive and he saw those Oscar De La Hoya, uh, you know, photos of him cross dressing? How do you think he felt? Like then, <laughs> how, really, <laughs> like Pernell, <laughs> like Pernell, like I really, y'all really, no, 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 let me address that because that's a real question. I'm gonna be, yo, listen, this is 100, straight 100, straight cheese, 100%. I always thought Oscar was sweet, B. That's, I swear to God, no, I, I did, B, I looked at him. <laughs> when he did, he did an aerobics commercial way back when, and I like, yo, I was looking at that shit, I'm like, so fucking bad, oh man! Like the fuck out of here! Like who? Do <laughs> no it real shit. shit. Yo, it was his real laugh, shit. bro. It was his Yo, laugh when the girls were like shit. around him. He start laughing and stuff. He Country, you remember how he used to talk? He used to talk yeah. real soft, like hey, yeah. Yo, yeah. Real, <laughs> real shit. Hey, Yo, Jules, remember? Opinion? You remember Yo, Comic View? 
Yeah, that's right. You remember Comedy View back in the days, Jules? I'm in yeah, Gary, Gary Owen, one of the comics, Gary Owen. He's popular now. He talked about Oscar De La Hoya. It was like he's a good fighter. He's got a little sugar in the tank. Because you ever hear him talk and be like, you ever hear him talk and be like, hi, my name is Oscar De La Hoya. That's like how to fight. Yeah, I remember. I like, to fight. Yo, I'm not fighting. I got, like cars and rainbows. Bro, don't <laughs> leave me. Go back to the, go back to the old footage. Like his, he was just. Uh, Yo, bro, I ain't gonna hold you. I remember watching them them old HBO things on YouTube. It's like, oh, Yo, dude, bro, when those pictures this dude of him in the man. fishnets came out. It was over with, man. He just listen. <laughs> and I could never get over. I could never get over that this fucking dude beat Chavez. This is the fucking guy that beat Chavez. Yo, that shit, because Chavez was my guy when I was a kid. I was yep. a Chavez yeah. guy. And I I never let that, that this is the fucking guy that beat Chavez. This fucking guy? Yeah, so <laughs> I was a guy you know too. what I mean? You know, you know what it was? Oscar just got him at the right time. I think that's no, yeah. of course. Of course, yeah, yeah. bro. By the time he fought Chavez, Chavez had mad mm -hmm. fucking face, son. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, Jules, yeah, what was your opinion yeah, about him and the, him and Corte, mm -hmm. man? Because a lot of people seem to think Corte won that fight. I would have to rewatch it. That's an old ass fight, bro. It is. What about, what, what about the, uh, I had to rewatch it. You just, what about the uh, De La Hoya Whitaker fight? Who you think won that? Think Oscar Whitaker, Whitaker. Bro, every, listen, listen. Everybody, every, if you being real, Whitaker, bro. Everybody, yeah. everybody yeah. thought Sweet yeah. P won that fight. Yeah. It's just, and he knocked him down, bro. I'm going to tell you what. Like, I'm going to tell you what. It's the same shit as always. I, remember, Oscar coming forward. He the A-side, throwing flurries. Yep. He not hitting shit, but yep. it looked good. It yep. looked good. Mm-hmm. Yo, why is Chavez Senior almost kill Edwin Rosario like that, bro? Anyone, Cause anyone he's, like cause he's fucking? Because he's a fucking animal, bro. Fucking Yo, bro, animal. Oh, oh, man. I, I, remember, I remember. Yeah, yeah Chavez, bro. Chavez versus Rosario. He butchered yeah, Rosario, that, man. Yo, bro, that was that was his coming out party, bro. Because I ain't gonna hold you. Chepo was laying everybody out, bro. Then Chavez just stepped to him, throwing one tools and that left hook to the body, bro. Like yeah. just killed him, bro. Then yo, bro, I remember the twelfth round. Chapo eye is closed and everything. Like he's getting beat up, bro. He throws a damn. He throws a damn hard overhand right. You know Chavez, what Chavez was a buzz saw. You know, you know what Chavez? Yeah, I love Chavez, man. He was great. You know what Chavez went after he got hit with that overhand right? Nowhere. Still going to the body and still breaking him down. And Richard still had to save that oh fight. And, and yo, bro. Chavez's made Chavez chin was made up out of old dried up washcloths. That's how hard that shit was. You come and as you could cut through bread with that shit, B. Look, look, what, the, look what the super chat said. <laughs> ODHL used to talk like Mexican. That's the perfect thing, Master De La Hoya. <laughs> oh, he, can fight. Fight, though, man. he can fight. He was a great fighter. Yep, he was a great fighter. He was a great fight. Like when the lose, I, you look. If this, if it was a guy like that, that he had like the looks and shit, but he had the cojones. Because this, is what you got to give Oscar balls to bone. That motherfucker got guts, bro. You think yeah. he's going to go to middleweight? No. Just no. like the funny, one of the I, I don't like, but yeah, I don't like how Mayorga, they did Oscar De La Hoya for uh the Manny Pacquiao fight. I never like how they did Oscar because on some shit, I know, that I, shit, bro. He accepted. I know that. he took the fight. Can't make like, yo, bro, yeah, yeah. Can't make excuses. Oscar, you, yeah, yeah, I mean, you like yeah, yeah, my, yeah, my IV yeah, shit. The yeah, IV shit was unsettling me. I was very entertained when he fought Mayorga because the way Mayorga was talking all that shit to him and. Talk about how the Latins are with me. I was just in the that. country. I was the country. I was just about to say that. That's probably low key like one of my top two favorite fights is the mayor. Yeah, like, he, he, he that let, me be, ass too, let me be <laughs> honest. Let me be honest he about uh, Oscar De La Hoya middleweight. I kind of felt that he he lost the Felix Stern fight. Everybody feels he that lost right. comprehensively. Yeah, okay. yeah. 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 You ain't the only one that thinks that. Yeah, yeah, Everybody yeah. feels that way. He got a gift in that fight. We yeah. all knew that. And then and then Bernard folded his ass up like a beach chair with a body yep, shot. Yep, yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. That was, he was in I, agony. <laughs> I think Oscar won, won, split the fights with Mosley. I think he won one of them and lost the other one. But a lot of people think, he, you know, 
don't know. <laughs> Yo, he said Chavez Senior was hard as a brick, a brick of coca. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was a cokehead, wasn't he? Wasn't yeah, Chavez bro, a cokehead? Yo, yeah, he was. He was. Yeah. Hey. Was, we ain't even going to do that to Chavez. Everybody was a cokehead. Mike was a cokehead. Eddie Murphy was Sugar a cokehead. Ray Chavez, everybody Hector was a cokehead. Hector Macho Camacho. I remember, was, I remember when he Chavez was the cokehead, B. I, 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 I remember when Chavez fucked care. Macho, and Chavez said, if I lose this fight, they will lynch me. Meaning yo, that, his yo, own people. He wasn't God. joking. My oldest, listen, my oldest memories of, that is literally the oldest memory I have of watching a boxing match when everybody on the block, we all went to the house to watch Chavez versus Camacho. Camacho. Bro, oh, man, that's huge in New York, was that, man. Was that, was, that, was that before or after he beat Sugar Ray? I don't remember. I just know that was the oldest memory. That was after. That was after. That was after. Okay. 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 Oh, no. That's the oldest memory. No, 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 probably before. Probably before. before. No, way before. Way, way before. That was way before, yeah. That was a 92. You, the, the, um, you, you talking about Camacho was a 92. Right? You talking yeah, yeah, about yeah, 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 man. That was way, way before that. Leonard was an old motherfucker by that time, though, man. Like, I don't yeah. even know that yeah, I know. shit. I know, I know. Yeah, that fight shouldn't have happened. Yeah, that's all. Like, I don't even count that. That, that was kind that's of like, That's fault. like Tyson versus McBride. Like, bro, come on. We going to judge Tyson off McBride, bro? Or we going to judge Yo, McBride? Ray, that, Ray was, that was kind of Ray's fault, Ray should have never came Ray back after the Terry North fight, fight man. man. Nope. He shouldn't have. He said that himself. He said the biggest two mistakes he made in his career was the Terry Norris fight and the, the Camacho fight. That's what Bray, that's what Leonard said. And Camacho got him on the ropes and stowed on him. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm fucking tired. It was a great live. I yeah. catch you on the next one. All right. Pleasure as always, man. Have a good night, sure, bro. Thanks, you well. Have a good night. Good night, everybody on the panel. Y'all be safe.